What is going on, E Nation fans? This is Ian Press 48 here. Welcome to the Ian Press 48 500 subscriber special again video. And today, two weeks ago, I did a video about a Q&A that you guys have two weeks to get me to get a chance to ask me any questions. And I know it was a slow one, not a lot of ask, but hey. I am ready to answer some of your wonderful questions regardless right here and I'm excited. So here we go. The first question comes from NASCAR fan YT. He asked, what race made you become a 48 fan? That is a good question. So how did I become a Jimmy Johnson fan? Um, well, I know that I did watch some NASCAR races from like no wait or something like I saw like you know, a few and then I officially started watching NASCAR in the summer of 2009 and how I became a Jimmy Johnson fan was the 2009 Brickyard 400 um I remember like what happened to that race like a lot a lot happened like Cowboys had tired down Montoya got penalty and then I remember cheering for Jimmy Johnson and that was the first win I ever saw from Jimmy and I remember like telling my mom or my parents they were in the living room at the time eight-year-old me was like Jimmy Johnson won the race Jimmy Johnson won Jimmy Johnson won something like that and so yeah I've been following Jimmy ever since here till now and then I'll still follow Jimmy as he's gonna be one of, one of my favorite IndyCar drivers next year. No, so, so yeah, good question, good question. Second question comes from Cito Brown. He asked, who will be your new favorite driver in 2021 when Jimmy Johnson retires? And that is a good question because I've had, I've had people asking me who will be my favorite driver after Jimmy retires and asks for full time to go to IndyCar, and whenever like I had people ask me that for two weeks, I'm like, we might want to wait. I'm not gonna say anything yet. But here we are now. So to answer your question, my favorite my favorite driver after Jimmy Johnson retires, he's gonna be my new number one favorite active driver, and that my friends. You guys may know how I am when it comes to the Xfinity series on that one particular driver for reactions. And that, my friends, it's going to be Ross Chastain. You heard it, folks. My home state, home county hero is going to be my number one favorite driver after Jimmy retires from full time. And I'm excited that Ross Chastain will go to the 42 car next year. And I do want to apologize for not doing like a video about that and other stuff on racing topics with Ian Perez. I've been busy doing an IndyCar stop motion race. I'm halfway done, so I, I do want to apologize to that. If you guys still want to want me to talk about the, the schedules for NASCAR and IndyCar, yeah, feel free. I'll, I'll do so whenever I can. Hopefully, it's not too late. But yes, you heard it here, folks. Ross Chastain will be my new favorite number one cup driver active for 2021 i can't wait to see how ross chastain does represent the 239 ross let's go all right so that is it that is second question done next question comes from eric marchesini sorry if i pronounced uh your last name wrong eric and he asked well what is your thoughts on indycar racing at the nashville street circuit in august 2021 Honestly, I know I'm more of an oval guy for IndyCar. Like, hey, like more ovals or like half ovals, half circuits or more ovals, less circuits, whatever. Um, yeah, we're not going to see that next year. But the Nashville Street Circuit. Honestly, it's very cool that, that IndyCar is going to race at the Nashville Circuit. The layout looks interesting. It gives me like Formula E vibes for some reason. But that's just the layout. I did see Danny B's video about the Nashville, like, oh, how Nashville circuits gonna look like in real life next year. And we're racing on a freaking bridge, folks. We're racing on a bridge. 
What? Like, I'm excited for like Nashville to be, I think, next year in the circuit, but we're racing at a freaking bridge. Formula One was so close to race at a bridge at Sydney back in 2008, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it just didn't happen. But I think, hey, at least IndyCar is finally going to race at a bridge. Unreal. I'm excited for that. I hope like the racing is fantastic. Let's see how it goes. All right. All right, next question comes from Daniel Nudison. Again, if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong, I do want to apologize. Anyway, good old Daniel asked, who will win the Cup Series Championship next year? <sighs> That's a tough one. Unfortunately, we still have the Elimination Chase next year. Very, very unfortunate. However, I will still focus on the non-chase standings from the Iceberg and Racing Reference after each race. But hopefully, like, hopefully, like, whoever is the non-chase point leader for Trucks, Xfinity, and Cup, especially Cup. Uh, who knows? Like, honestly, I don't know. I can't. <laughs> I'm bad with predictions. Even with no chase and the unfortunate chase. I'm st I don't know. I know this year I, will, I only want to see Harvick win Cup because he actually deserves it with no chase. As of now, coming into Talladega, I think it's a battle between Austin Hill, Brett Moffitt, Ben Rhodes, and I can't remember the fourth driver for the not chase standings. In the Xfinity, we got Austin Cindric. He does have a, not a big lead, not a huge lead, but it's like a, I think, 48-point lead. I had to chase Briscoe, and Rosh Chastain is starting points with no chase. So, yeah. All right. So, a um, couple of questions more to go. Next up, we got John Van Deventer, the MLB Baseball Fan 2020. He asked... Do you think Kyle Busch deserved his 2011 suspension? Yes, that was the lowest point of his career. And he just overreacted. And even like even I bet even Kyle Busch fans hated that part and were embarrassed to see their driver um do that to Ron Horn today. Ironically, like Ron Horn is my all-time favorite truck driver. And honestly, I don't I don't I don't remember how I reacted to that. I don't know if I saw that live because I know it was on YouTube on Wii. Like normally I would go back and forth on watching YouTube videos on the Wii and then going to the race, watching the race back and forth. And there was a lot of commotion going on. I don't know. I didn't know how I reacted to it specifically. But he did deserve his 2011 suspension. I do love Kyle Bush, but that was literally the lowest point of his career. Without a doubt. And second question, he asked me, how uh, can you do a top 10 favorite and least favorite NASCAR drivers? I mean, I do want to do those, like, like, my least favorite drivers in this series, my favorite drivers in that series. I do. But I don't know. I'm just, yeah, I'm just so unmotivated. And it's not a top 10. I can do, like, <laughs> I can do, like, oh, like, favorite drivers of this, least favorite drivers of that in motorsports. Um, But... I'm just unmotivated doing it. I don't know why. I'm just, I don't know. And then, final question. Do you hope that Timmy Hill gets a top ride someday? Um, that would be cool. He's he's a, he's a good driver. However, he, he does have his own truck team with his brother, Tyler Hill. So, I would say yes, but let's see how his truck team goes. Like, they finished top 10 twice at Darlington and Richmond in a row. But Timmy going to a top team, I don't know because he has his own team with his brother. So it could be C plus at least. I don't know. Two more. All right. Got two more people asking questions. Uh, three more questions to go. Brianna Severa asked me, if you were a NASCAR driver, what sponsor would you have? That's easy. Brisk Guys Tea is my all-time favorite drink. However... I do have a specific flavor that I love only, and it's a lemon flavor. I've been drinking that since I was like seven or eight years old, and that's always been my all-time favorite drink ever since. I know I don't drink it as much because we don't get it as much, but if I do get it, ooh, I drink Brisco Lights. It's just, mm, so good. So, Brisco Ice Tea. 
autism related sponsors because autism speaks is sketchy and bad like autism related sponsor um hershey's any any meat sponsor because i love eating meat so yeah i think that's all i don't i don't know if i was ever an indy car driver maybe the same way i have no clue the sponsors have to get to you i can't just pick a sponsor like I used to think like, hey, like, I don't know. I used to think like, hey, a driver can race whatever they want. And they have like some random, and then they get like some random sponsor, that's it. Oh, but I th but then over the years I learned, that's not how it goes. And I'm like, all right. I mean, like learning the business side of motorsports, it's interesting still. Good sides, bad sides, but yeah. If I was a driver, what sponsor would that be? I just said, Fisk Ice T. An autism related sponsor. I honestly don't know, but all I can think of is Brisk Guy Steve. Also, a little story time. Sorry if I'm <laughs> wasting your time a bit, folks. When I was nine, I remember one time I drew myself a NASCAR Nationwide Series Gen 4 body because it was 2010. I was a huge fan of the Gen 4 cars and the Nationwide Series. And I remember drawing myself. A number 94 and having Fruit Loops as a sponsor. That was awesome. I don't know if I still have that drawing. If I do, I'm keeping it because I don't know what happened to that drawing now. That was 10 years ago. Damn. I'm old as hell already. I'm almost 20 for crying out loud. I was nine when that happened. It was, I know it was before the season ended. All right. Final question from Rock and Roll 15. He asked, What's your favorite journey song that is an amazing question like for those of you who don't know uh i enjoy music a lot my all-time favorite genre is rock and roll because it's real music my favorite decade of music is the 80s my all-time favorite band is genesis gorillas um skillet smash mouth oh, journey as well those are my, literally like five of my favorites actually journey's third and then my favorite, my all-time favorite singer is the man, the myth, the legend, the goat, Phil Collins. And here's the uh, a record uh, Genesis album thing I have. Like I do have a lot of CDs over there. Maybe I can do like a little CD like music show off collection thing because I love music. So anyway, my favorite Journey song. That's a tough question. Holy shoot. Obviously, it's not Don't Stop Believing. Like, I like that song, but it's not my all-time favorite song. Um, fuck. I don't remember. I have a lot. I know one of them is La Dura, When You Love a Woman. Um, Faithfully, uh, Separate Ways. Um, God damn, there's a lot. There's a lot. There is a lot. Hold on. I do have my uh, Journey album. Give me one second. I only have the greatest hits ones. I, I do love a lot of songs. Oh, now I remember like Love and Touching Squeezing. Um, um, open Arms, That's the Lonely. Wheel in the Sky. Send, and Send Her My Love. Like... I know there's a lot more about just naming like random stuff. I only had this out because I couldn't remember everything. Um, but yeah, I guess that's, um, those are my favorite Journey songs. And I don't, and I, unfortunately, I have not listened to like all the Journey albums, even before the Steve Perry era happened. I do want to like listen to the whole thing, but sometimes I'm lazy as fuck for others besides Folk Collins, Genesis, uh, and all that. Um... And final question is, what do you think about being autistic? It's a blessing, I can say that, but I I don't know, I don't really know how to answer that. Like, all I can say is that it's a blessing, like people care about me for who I am, no matter what I am, no matter if I have a disability or not. Um, I mean, that's all I got, like, I don't. I I honestly don't know how to answer that. But one of my all-time favorite NASCAR uh, pain schemes is Denny Hamlin's Autism Speaks. I know I said Autism Speaks is not a good company, 
but I just do love that paint scheme a lot. But to answer that question, I don't know. It's just a blessing. As long as people care about me for who I am, no matter what. It's not easy at times, but you live and you learn. That's all I got. So, I just don't know how to answer that. I, don't, I just don't know how to answer correctly, but yeah. Sorry about that. And that is all we got for today's uh, 500 subscriber special Q&A. So, that'll do it for today's video. I want to say, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much for 500 subscribers once again. I am so excited that the road to 1K is a once again underway. Thank you all for the support. Y'all mean a lot to me. I am glad that I answered your questions. If you guys didn't get a chance to ask me questions, hopefully I'll do that next time. So yeah, I, I do enjoy these Q&As. I just wish, honestly, I wish that I had more questions because I don't mind answering anyone's questions as long as, long as it's not too personal. So yeah. So that ought to do it for today's video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm Ampress25, and Ampress40, and ask YT. Like my Facebook page, enascar48-enasianfilms. Don't forget to like my Facebook page, enascar 40 dash. Wait, I already said the Facebook one. Um, follow me on Reddit, Ampress48. I know no one will, but whatever. Um, don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more content. Thank you all for supporting E Nation. And hopefully you guys tune in to my next IndyCar stop motion race, and I will let you know. The only hint I'll give you is that it's a road course. So yeah. So yeah. And it's not, and it's like the same cars on Homestead, just an FYI. But this time we're racing on road course. Anyway, I'm wasting more time, I'm sorry. So anyway, thank you all so much for supporting E Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.